是林慧平，欢迎收看《五分钟看世界》这一系列的节目，由 Computer Asia 所直播，将带大家来看戏股的创新。FPGA 由 Zenix 的合伙创办人 Rose Freeman 所发明，以高度的设计弹性著称。二十五年后的今天 ，FPGA 有了转变，它仍然保留了一部分专属于 FPGA 的弹性，但在原始的晶片上面加上了许多 IP block。可以先将这些常用的功能放在晶片中。Zenix 将这种平台称之为 Target Design Platform。然而，加上了 IP Core 的这些 FPGA， 是不是仍然保留了原本会比 ASIC 相对于便宜的这个优势呢？自然引起业界人士的质疑，认为使用者必须将支付这些 IP Core 这个授权费，如此将使 FPGA 的优低价优势不在。Zenix realizes that for our strategy for targeted design platforms, we cannot provide everything, nor is it our intention to provide all the IP that customers will need. And in fact, a strong element to this will be a very, uh, a very comprehensive ecosystem working with our partners uh, to provide IP to customers. And again, sometimes that IP will be available for some fee, sometimes it will be available for free. So it's going to be that combination of what Xilinx is providing, uh, combined with what our partners provide, to provide our customers end solutions. Um, and we'll do that in a way that is cost competitive for our customers. And some of it will be free, some of it uh, will have a fee associated. And there are some inherent benefits that an FPGA provides. Much like the advances that were provided with the Spartan 6 demo, where we did things in parallel, the same capabilities are available in an FPGA here. This design runs at 276 megahertz. Uh, it uses a lot of our DSP slices to again function and operate in parallel. Now to build the same implementation using a common DSP, ASSP, would perhaps take multiple chips to keep up with that same processing power. An ASIC could be developed, but again, you're going to have a large incurred expense, a long time to develop this, and changing standards make that very difficult because today we're rolling out 3G wireless. Tomorrow it'll be 4G. FPGAs provide the ability to incrementally extend their solution. They can also support multiple modes.